Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see in the books of higher purchaser, journal, uh, without journal entries, direct ledger accounts. Direct ledger accounts that too when installments are different. In the previous problem what we have done same installment it was 4000, 4000, 4000 every year we will pay. Now installments are different and also here we are going to, we are not going to write any journal entries. How do we write it? In most of the professional exams, nobody will ask you to write the journal entries. Directly, if you learn how to write the ledgers without journal entries, from ledgers, you can prepare even the journal entries also. Know it? That's what we are going to do. Focus. Very easy. Basic problems, you understood what, uh, what is higher purchase and how do we prepare the entries and the ledgers everything is we know now just focus for five ten minutes i'll make you to understand now this problem is given like this prepare ledger accounts in the books of x in the books of x now purchaser is here x take blue marker purchaser is here x seller is y asset is machine okay in the books of x in the books of purchaser we have to prepare the ledger accounts information is given cash price of the machine the cost is 31,960, down payment 8,000, three installments, first installment 12,000, second installment 10,000, third installment 4,000, interest rate is 5%, depreciation 10% on straight line, previous problem it was given diminishing balance, written down value method, but now this is, this problem is straight line method, so no worries, once if you calculate the depreciation that will be continuous for the rest of the two years also three years we are preparing right for three years same depreciation now uh, the problem is given like this first we have to prepare ledgers what ledgers will prepare we know it first of all vendors account is important and also machine account is important apart from these two two minor accounts are there that is interest account and depreciation account this we'll see later now well, let's focus on the wise account vendors account Vendors account always remember four entries you will get first year. First one is for purchasing the asset. Whenever you are purchasing the asset, it comes on the credit side. So first year, what you are purchasing? Machinery. Buy machinery account. What is the cost? 31,960. Then after that you have to make the initial payment and also installment. For making payment of initial amount or installment, it comes on the debit side. Asset purchase credit side, down payment and installment amount on the debit side. So first year. Whenever you are making any payment to bank account, this is down payment. How much is the down payment? 8000. And uh, also you are paying first installment. First installment is first year 12,000 to bank account. This is first installment. How much is the first installment? 12,000. Remember three entries you must buy asset account, buy machinery account, two down payment to first installment. Now fourth entry is interest. Interest will be on the credit side. Buy interest account. Interest from the asset already you have paid down payment of 8000. When you made down payment of 8000, deduct that from the asset account then calculate interest. Okay, now 31,000 here I am showing you rough column 31,960 minus 8,000. Whatever you are going to get on that, you are going to calculate the 5%. 31,960 minus 8,000 because you are paying down payment. When you made down payment, why do you pay on the total amount interest? No. Let's deduct this down payment. You are getting 23,960. Now 23,960 into 5%. On this you take the 
into 5 percent comes to 1198 so 1198 is the interest okay now debit side is more first year entries are over 1198 plus 31960 which comes to 33158 33158 we'll write the same thing here 33158 to balance carry down 33158 minus 20000 means 13158 this is transferred to second year by balance brought down 13,158. Now, second year focus machinery account we don't have. What do we have? Interest. And here, down payment is also not there. What else we have? First installment. Okay. Second year will carry on with installment and also interest only two entries will be uh, in the next two years so now we'll write two bank account this is second installment second installment is how much it is different first year it was 12,000 second year 10,000 be careful 10,000 I'm writing here and also interest Now, interest on broad down amount you can calculate directly. In the last class, we have done some working notes. It's not required. Directly we can prepare. First year only be careful. How we have calculated first year? Asset amount minus down payment. Asset is 31,960 minus down payment. You got 23,960 into 5% we have calculated. Second year onwards, broad down amount whatever we have on this we are going to calculate the 5%. If you want, you can prepare the table and see same amount you are going to get. It's a shortcut method. 13,158 into 5%. 13,158 into 5%. Which comes to 657.9 means 658 we can take. 658. 658 plus 13,000. 158. This is uh, 13,816. 13,816. 13,816 minus 10,000. It is 3,816. 3,816. This is balance carried on. Third year, oh, sorry, buy, buy balance brought down 3816. Only three installments, right? First installment 12,000 over, second installment 10,000 over, now third installment, third year. Two bank account, third installment. Third installment is how much? 4,000. This is the last installment. Whenever you are paying last installment, you need not to calculate 5%. Directly the difference between these two will be the interest. We already learned it. Now interest will be 4,000 minus 3,816. If you want, you can calculate and say 3816 into 5%. Almost you will be getting the same amount only. But to make it or to adjust it to the nearest rupee, we are taking the difference between these two. So this is uh, interest. If you want, I will write here 4000 minus 3816 is the interest. Now it is over. Vendor's account is over. Once vendor's account is over, maximum work is done. Now coming to the asset account, we will see. 
so when it comes to asset account machinery you are purchasing whenever you are purchasing machinery what do you write to machinery account attached to <coughs> machinery account attached to higher vendor account so higher vendor is here y to y is account what is the cost of the machinery 31000 8960 every year you will be providing depreciation only so this is first year first year will provide the depreciation by depreciation account how much is the depreciation 10% straight line method uh, 31960 into 10% means it comes to 319 3196 first year is over Thirty-one thousand nine sixty by balance carried down. Thirty-one thousand nine sixty minus thirty-one nine sixty minus three one nine six. This is twenty-eight thousand four ninety-four. Twenty-eight thousand four ninety-four. Carried on second year to wife's account. Sorry, to balance brought down. To balance brought down twenty eight thousand four ninety four. Second year once again by 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 depreciation account. Same depreciation amount you are going to get because it is a straight line method. By depreciation account three one nine six. This is twenty eight thousand four ninety four. Twenty eight thousand four ninety four. Twenty eight thousand four ninety four minus three one nine six. This comes to twenty five thousand two ninety eight. Twenty five thousand two ninety eight. This is balance carried on. This is balance brought down for the next year. Two balance brought down is in a machinery account. So twenty five thousand two ninety eight. Third year also once again depreciation by depreciation account three one nine six by balance carried down twenty five two ninety eight. Minus three thousand one ninety six, twenty two thousand one not two, twenty five two ninety eight. So next year just a small correction. I need to adjust it. Uh, calculations gone wrong. Thirty one thousand nine sixty minus three one nine six. It comes to twenty eight thousand seven sixty four. Twenty-eight thousand seven sixty-four. Seven sixty-four. Uh, once again, twenty-eight thousand seven sixty-four minus three one nine six. This comes to twenty-five thousand five sixty-eight. Twenty-five thousand five sixty-eight. This is seven sixty four twenty five thousand five sixty eight. Need to be very careful. Minus three one nine six twenty two three seventy two three one nine six A small calculation because here I made a mistake, and uh, till the end it goes wrong. <laughs> Am I clear? Okay. To build show 
balance brought on this is the balance left over so how much 22 one or two okay machinery account is over now coming to depreciation account simply you will write uh, two machinery account by profit and loss account every year two machinery account depreciation amount is how much uh, 3196 the same amount you will write 3196 3196 first year is over second year also by p and l account <coughs> 3196 second year two machinery account 3196 third year also amount also same third year depreciation account is easy and also in the same interest account interest account debit side you will write higher vendors account credit side by p and l account once you are due to the higher vendor debit side you are writing that is to be transferred to the pre p and l account so credit side so interest is how much uh, every year it is changing na? first year is 1198 first year 1198 Second year, same profit and loss account, you will say 658. Higher vendors account 658. And third year, third year it is 184. <sighs> Hope it is clear. Take in the screenshot also. <laughs> I am not giving much time for this screenshot. Anyhow, you can take. Now, uh, let me explain this problem once again. Problem is very simple, same like previous problem. Only the thing is, installments amounts are different. And we thought journal entries, we are preparing the ledger accounts. Ledger accounts means mainly remember in the books of purchaser, higher vendor account, asset account is important. Higher vendor account, only four entries you have to remember. First entry is here, machinery account and interest account credit side. Credit side, two entries. One, two. Debit side also, two entries. Down payment amount and also installment. Two bank, two bank. This is down payment. Uh, this is third entry and fourth entry. Four entries you have to write. If you write these entries, the rest of the account you can prepare it. If you see debit side uh, down payment, it will not come in the second year, third year. So, second year we have only the installment amount only. Now, on the credit side also, machinery purchased only one time. So, that doesn't come. We get only the interest. Second year and third year. Interest calculation, you need to be very careful. First year interest calculation especially. Uh, whenever you are making payment of down payment, asset amount 31,960 minus 8,000. So, here. You got 23,900 on this 5% you have to pay because you made a down payment. After making the down payment, where is the question of preparing or where is the question of calculating on the asset amount interest? No. We'll decrease that. Down payment amount decrease and calculate the interest. Second year onwards, no problem. Second year broad down amount you are calculated. Third year is nothing but the difference between the installment and the broad down amount. And anyhow, last year, every time last year will be the difference between the uh, installment and broad down amount will be the last year. If you are preparing for 5 years, 5th year also. 5th year only, you will take like this. 4th year, once again, on the balance broad down, you will be calculating. Very easy, na? Asset account is also very easy. Simply, you will say, uh, sorry, machinery account is very easy. Whenever you are purchasing machinery, machinery account attached to higher vendor account. So, higher vendor is X, Y. Vice account we have written every year depreciation you are writing. Depreciation is straight line method. So once if you calculate 10% on this, it is coming to 3196 every year, same one. And interest and depreciation is quite easy. Hope it is clear. We'll work out more problems. Stay corrected. Don't forget to share these videos and check out your test book also. Whatever is uh, easy and whatever is uh, you need practice, do that. And don't forget to share these videos and stay connected. Check out the playlist. Good luck.